Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And today we're starting off in the Nether Mob Farm. I put up a few signs and stuff. Um I've also discovered because I went and knocked through this wall, um I can't remember why, but I just did. And my pathway to the Nether Fortress is right here behind this wall, which I didn't know. So, um, yeah, at least I don't have to go all the way around now like I used to. But that's not why we're starting in the nether. Um, last week... Oh, we full? We might be full. Hold on. It's a good thing I came around and checked. Um... Oh, something's full. What's full? Oh, okay. I thought this was working. It's not working. Ah, oh, fooey. It's not working. Oh, you know what? I told it is working. I told it not to go in. But I need to be able to avoid it. Can I? Configuration. Okay, I think what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, if I have, all right, let me, let me have a little think. If I have a, um, see, I thought it was working, because I was like, yeah, it's working, but it's not exactly working, not how it's supposed to work. I want want it to I want stuff to go straight the trash can trash can has a filter the filter is a uh, string and redstone okay as usual just as I thought yeah things are happening it's not happening right this is full again isn't it all right I want this, alright, this servo is working. I went and got rid of the one that I cheated in to see if it was working. Because I didn't need, I had a servant, hardened servo already. So that's there. I told it to ignore metadata. And I put in a golden sword. So now, the golden swords are building up here in the accumulator. Right? Now we need to get rid of the golden swords and put them in a trash can. Right? So if I put a if I put a filter on the trash can, if I put the trash can next to it, put a filter on the trash can saying um only allow swords, it should just put the swords straight in the trash can and everything else will come through. Right. So that is what we need to do. So I came in to show you that the filter was working. Which it is, but it's also building up in the vacuumulator. So there's... Oh, wait a minute. Is there a way to... Configuration, uh, redstone. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Right, this week we're supposed to be doing Tinker's stuff. Tinker's armory. Because we need to get ready to go into um a tomb but i want to fix this thing first so we are going back to the overworld to do that and also thank you very much to nighty panther who is like my own little guardian angel who's telling me all kinds of really cool stuff um they were the ones who um explained about like which which servo i'd need to have and what bits i can um what I can ignore and so on because as you could see I really didn't know what I was doing so we need do I have any more servos I have a hardened servo which is fine um do I have is does this have ducts yes it has a duct um 
um item duct is fine one um thermal dynamics because because yeah i'll just need i'll just need the filter on the servo so i need some kind of trash can does that i make another trash can but does that connect i don't know if it connects to trash can it's in the front here but if i put connect yes it does awesome okay and then i've got to work out where to put it though that's the only thing because obviously you don't want to let in light into the but then again it doesn't matter whether there's light in the mob farm or not because the cursed earth will generate mobs whether there's light or not it's not dependent on light level so even if there is light being let in that shouldn't make much of a difference so take these two put the trash can here and there's no light going in anyway because we've got the cursed earth there put uh, that there and our servo here and then we want to whitelist whitelist that your metadata why are you not going oh that's output Is that not it nope that should work yes i think it did that should work. It was one of those sides. Alright, let's see. There's no way of knowing what goes where. But it should just take swords. And this should take everything else. I'm hoping. Okay. I don't know, we'll soon see. <laughs> okay, that is... Oh, that's going up. Yes, that's going up. It's working. The loot crates are going up, so they're going into the main system. There should be no swords in here. What else is going up? The loot crates I'm watching. Yes, 76. Uh, did no more come in? Seventy seven, okay. It seems to be working. Alright, I've 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 accomplished something. Which is cool. Right, so we got the trash can, got the servos. Yeah, that is cool. It's a pity this is not big enough to generate a ghast, because that would be awesome. But actually, vector plates wouldn't work with a ghast. We'd have to put fans on the back, and probably iron spikes all the way up, or whatever spikes. Okay, so that was a, a slight aside from what we were going to do. But what we are going to do is, um, but this mob farm's working pretty well. Actually, I think that might have reached its, um, its zenith. Let's see, do we have upgrade? 
upgrade. Okay. Put that there. I think oh we should probably take one out to the nether as well. If I where where's the upgrade? Oh there it is. I'm going to put one on here. Oh no, it's just stuck it in another one. <laughs> Okay. Alright, I think that's the only one that's going to get really full. Yeah, that looks like it's the only one that's going to get really full. And then there is a loot crate opener. I'm going to have to one I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with all the stuff in the loot crates because um, it seems like you get lots of chemical stuff lots of um, I won't say compositions but that's not what I mean um, lots of chemical compounds that's the word I wanted all right put that there So yeah, that I think that's the only one that's going to fill up really fast. Other than that, I think we're good. Right, let's go and see what we can learn about Tinker's Armoury. I did have a bit of a look to see, um, to see what we can see what we can do. I do need a forge. Now, there's armor station, but then there's also an armor forge, which is a bit like the tool forge. Which do we have? We don't even have a tool forge to make um, metal tools, which I didn't even notice. Okay, so in that case, we need. We need, we need, we need, we need some cobblestone. One to one? I don't know. Alright, let's turn you off. Oh no, we need it on. Because we need the bricks. Do we have any seared bricks left? Dark stone, tar screen. That's a very good question. Oh, we do. Okay. Alright, so we don't need any cobblestone then. Uh, we need... Oh, we don't have a lot of iron. What do we have a lot of? Copper. Okay, that could work. So we need... Eight blocks of copper. Um, forge. Okay, armor forge. All right, we want armor station. Copper, copper, copper. Where's the copper one? Aradite manual in copper. Okay. And. We need to make a well. But I didn't realise we didn't have any. Stencil table, tool station. I'd forgotten about that and Tinkers. You pick up, thank you. And tool station. There you go. So they're very fancy with their orange legs. And I've even put them back in the same place. How cool is that? Okay, right. So now we can make metal stuff. Um, it did say we need steel or better. I need to find where the book is. There is a book. And if we don't have the book... 
we don't have the book, there is um, a way of making it. Okay. Um... Uh, armor, I think. If I type that. Actually, if I type materials in you, because it's a material. This one. Alright, so we need a materials in you with a blank pattern. A materials in you is a book and a blank pattern. Put that in there, and then let's make another book. Go. And then um material that we that and then that I'm sure we had one though we had a my materials in you because I remember or maybe not I looked through it for the I don't know I'm doing too many mod packs. <laughs> at the moment i seem to remember looking through it but i could was it in my backpack yeah it was in my backpack at least that was materials in you that's not what we need this one materials in you armory addendum by c4 okay so you got a welcome um okay and armor parts can be crafted from your regular trusty part builder. At the stencil table, you can call craft armor core, plating, and trim patterns that you can use in the part builder. Then it goes on to talk about the armor station and the armor forge. And the armor station is the introductory armor repair, armor crafting table, which is what we had in the beginning. It can craft armor, repair, and replace, but cannot modify the armor, which is what we'll want to do after and the armor forge is an upgraded armor station giving the ability to finally modify the armor for greater potential both of the blocks come with a handy armor preview to see what the crafted armor would look like on the user okay um okay so you can repair your armor using some kind of armor repair kit it's a polishing kit i believe it's called yes armor polishing kit and you use it how you would use a tool sharpening kit which is fine all right so armor materials bore on steel so i'm guessing these are hard carbon chocolate no so it said don't go any lower than steel boron durability is 11 steel durability is 17 oh nice and it gives you steady less knockback for you more for your attacker trim is indomitable makes your armor more effective and plates are indomitable so maybe we should just make steel armor and go from there so how much steel would we need though how do we make steel again it was in the magma crucible no um induction smelter and you needed coal and iron let's have a look iron i might not have saved steel up there steel okay that is i don't know what that is steel ingot press a to save it uh, induction smelter um pulverized coal and iron or pulverized coal and iron will give us steel okay and we don't have a lot of iron because i want to make a stack of steel how much iron do we have um, iron we have we have a stack of iron all right we're gonna do that um is that coal 
So why? Oh, okay. All right, let's pulverize the coal. What did I just do with it? Did I put it in the bottom of the? Yeah, I did. I don't know why I do this at all. It's annoying. All right, pulverizer. Did I have any pulverized coal left over? Pulverize. Oh, I do have. Good. Okay. So, in the induction smelter, to give us 12. Yeah, so it's four per. Okay. Um, right, and then we can... Right, so each thing... Yeah, I'm going to need... Might need more than a stack. Okay, stencil table. We have all of these. Oh, we need to make. As if it's this. Oh, we need to make um. Um, plates casts. Right, let's take that stack of cobble. Start build a stencil table. So. No, not stencil table. Art crafter. Right, so if we get our cobblestone, this is all very new territory for me now. So that's one that we want. Armor trim. That's another one. Armor plate. Breastplate core. Eggins core. Boots core. Um, stable. Right, what else is there? We have one of those. Have that. Have that. Oh, I think I made everything. One, two, three, five, six. Two, three, four, five. What are we missing? The roundy thing. Uh, this. Yes. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. We need 12 bits of gold. So we can make 12 casts. Turn this off. Take you out. Can we? I don't think we can melt that because, yeah, because it has durability. Okay, so let's have a look at the book. So steel gives you for the core. It gives you a durability of seventeen. And plates and trim, it gives you durability of one. Okay. Electrum gives you a durability of 13 on the trim. Oh, lead's a good one. Silver is also another good one. Is steel is 17. The 17 is the one to be. Uh, manulin, man, manulin, or manulin, or ardite. We have ardite, don't we? We do ardite and steel. I think we should be. Oh, we have lots of ardite. Okay. All 
All right, what else? Why did I come back over when I still might have to go back and see what we have? Subterranean. Your armor is more durable below sea level. Petrividity. Your armor loves stone and operates better around it. Okay. Uh, what else? Cobalt. Blue slime. Night slime. We don't have access to any of that. Uh, sponge. We don't have access to that. That was a good one. Prismarine is also a good one. Okay. So. If we do our diet as our core. Ooh. Or our trim. Petrividity. Because the trim um the durability is 16 how much the trim changes the armor durability multiplier so actually it might be better to have our trim and bronze has a durability of 16. steel has because steel trim only um gives you a durability multiplier of one so it would make sense to have a steel core and ardite trim. And then the plates, how much for ardite? Plates modifier on ardite is 1.4, but the durability is minus 12 for ardite on, on your plates. Steel, the modifier is 0.9, but the durability is 10. Okay. Boron, no. Of alloy, no. Boron nitride, but we don't have that yet. Guessing. Chocolate. We can have a whole armor made out of chocolate. It's not going to do us any good, but it would be good armor. Okay, so I think we're going to make our core from steel and the trim in ardite. Okay, um yeah i've made all the bits now oh no they're in the oh good grief it is yeah made all the bits i got steel legging core got that i think i think i've worked it out correctly but yeah i know well we'll soon find out if i haven't all right so we want to make a helmet. So we need one of those. One of those. A helmet. There you go. So, oh, it's not much durability. But we've got three modifiers. Alright, still a helmet. Oh, I'm looking very, very, very posh. Steady, blessed, and petri pet petrividity. Okay, then we need the boots core. Then we need, oh, let's make the chest plate. And that's that. And then we need, can we just put all three of them in? Yes, we can actually. That makes our life a lot easier. All right, so we've got still chest plate. And then one leggings still leggings we're looking very proper and what's this boots and we need the boots core okay good 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 so that's what we're going to look like a very samurai looking but we're you know yeah Let's put it on. Put it on. And I think a diamond chest plate wooden helmet. All right. Where's our helmet? There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, very um looks very cumbersome. 
can't see my face. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can see through it. But yeah. That is looking very um very authoritative. Authoritative? Is that a word? I don't even know what I'm saying. It looked good. I think I look good. Okay. Um now these all have modifiers. Now can I put you see, I'll go take them off. It would help if I took it off. Oh, I didn't even see how my armor went up. If I have those, I oh know, boots. Okay, can I? No, it's not going to let me have the bouncy boots thing. All right, we've got three modifiers. Okay, well then let's make... Uh, let me see, how much redstone do I have? All right, let's take out half a stack of redstone. We only have three diamonds anyway, but we have three things, so that's fine. Uh... Take the door out. Okay. So, helmet and a diamond increases the toughness, increases the defense. Okay, and gives us two modifiers left. The chest plate. And the boots. Oh no. Put the diamond on our leggings. Okay. Pretty sure we can put the, the emerald on our boots. I mean, we have no villagers to trade with, so, you know, we don't really need them. It's fine. Ooh. Um, increases durability. Okay, that's fine. Okay, right. And speedy. Let's... Right, let's get a stack of redstone. Oh, I should have put the nether brick and stuff. Hold on. Let's get these out of the way. Wait. Um, that we need more slots. Okay, six. Not even sixty. Yes, 16. All right. Uh, speed. As you know, being faster, that's always a good thing. And last thing, boots. Okay. I think we're good to go. That's not that much faster. But I'm sure that would help. Let's have a look at what we look like. Oh, nice. Very spark. Ooh. Hello. Very sparkly. Okay, so. Last thing we'll want to do is make a weapon. But I'm not going to do that on camera. We're just going to look at the options. I'll make that off camera and then that will be it. Because this has been quite a long... Quite a long episode. Uh, okay. Um, we need something. A 
rapier. Quick strikes to defeat armoured foes. Okay. Fast but low damage. Right, so if we make a rapier, what would be the best things to make it out of? Or should we just make a normal sword? Medium damage. Um, or we could just use our sword. I think we could just um. I think we could just upgrade our sword. What do we? No, we don't have any more modifiers on it though. That's the only thing. That is the only thing. We have no more modifiers. Yeah, wood and tool rods. What's it made out of? Can we see? Watch. Now, uh, ecological, holy, sharp, crotic, diamond, and fiery. Shift for stats. That was shift. Um. Where's it gone? I can't remember what I made it out of. A wooden wide guard, tool rod, silver sword blade, and the fiery. All right, let's see what gives us the fiery modifier. Uh, modifiers, fiery, fiery, fiery. That is blaze powder. Okay, do we have blaze powder? Because you know, setting enemies on fire. That is always a good thing. Okay, we don't have enough modifiers. But that's fine. Okay, I'm just making a sharpening kit cast. Then we could make a silver sharpening kit for our sword just in case we need to well we can make quite a few just in case we need to um fix our sword on the fly actually let's do i have any silver yeah let's make five of them two right If we make five, got silver in there anyway. Take those out. Oh, no. Oh. Again, I put things in chests and then. Don't want that. Or we need to upgrade our bow or something. I don't know. I don't know, but next week, next week we will go adventuring because we're all we're all kitted out. We have everything we need, and we we're ready for these pharaohs. It will be a kill fest. We know that because it's not going to be a Minecraft mod pack without me getting killed. So it will be a kill fest, but that's fine. Right, that's for on the go. Let's just get, um, I just went and put it back and I shouldn't have. But let's get a silver ingot. Do I need one or two? I don't know. We'll forge. There's my sword. That not work? Silver sword blade. Oh no, it's fully repaired. Oh good grief, I'm looking at the XP level. There's me thinking, yeah, it needs repairing. No, it's fully repaired. Shane, 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 Shane. Okay, well, didn't need that. Right, let's put this in the cast chest. 
So, that's it for this week. We have made our armour. We are looking splendid. We're looking very splendiferous. Just stand. So yeah, we are looking very splendiferous in our samurai-inspired armour. And we are ready for next week's adventure. So, thank you very much for watching and for putting up with me trying to decide how to make my armour and what to make it with. And, um... I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.